Hey everybody, we're the Browns, and this is our 38-foot Bluebird bus that we converted into a tiny home that we will travel in, and uh, we're going to give you a tour. So here we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. All right, so welcome to the inside of our bus. This is Buster Brown the bus. We're just cooking some breakfast and hanging out, doing some coloring. <laughs> nice. Nice, buddy. Good job. Can you move your blanket so we can show them the couch? So this is one of our most favorite features of the bus. Katie's dad engineered and built it, and Katie did the cushions for it. She sewed them and it looks really awesome. So this is our kind of our main seating area and it folds out into a bed. We'll show you how that goes, but it folds out into a pretty good sized bed so we can have visitors and guests. So another cool feature of our front bench here is all the storage that's underneath. So we just pull these cushions off and we can lift the seat. We have all kinds of storage for days. Arts and crafts, books, toys, sports, blankets, all that kind of stuff. Yes. On the other side of the bus is our shoe rack slash chaise. So with the chaise right at the bit, right at the entry, here's our steps and then we have shoe storage here. Nice and organized. Lots of shoes. And then the seating area, and again, Katie did the cushion for it. So on the other side of the chaise, we have, we built in just a bookshelf here. So we can have our art supplies and books, and our shoe storage goes all the way through underneath the chaise, so <laughs> it's just full of shoes. All right, so this is kind of our dining area. It's not complete yet. Um, this table won't be on legs, it'll actually be on folding hinges. So we can fold it down and have kind of like a little seating area and then uh, fold it up and have our dining area. So moving back from the front of the bus. Ooh, very nice. What's happening here? Hey, Styler. <laughs> hey, Sir Styler. So moving back from the front of the bus, from the couch, chaise in the dining area, we have the kitchen, which Katie is modeling right now so well. One thing about our school bus build that we want, really wanted to make sure we tried to do is leave it as open as possible up in the head area. So we've walked through and saw a lot of buses that had um, cabinets along the top and it just felt a little closed in for us. So we wanted to try to preserve kind of this open feel. And so with that, we lose storage obviously because there's no cabinets. So we went and found these baskets. Uh, I think they're just a Target and we hung them up on the wall and uh, to, for storage, but also kind of keep that open feel. So we went with a just a countertop stove for a couple of reasons. We were originally gonna do a full range in stove, um, but <laughs> things got expensive. <laughs> and uh, we also felt like we needed a little more cabinet space. And so we just went with the, with the countertop stove and we'll see if we like it. We both decided if we if we didn't like it for any reason, we could easily remodel the kitchen yeah. and get a and get and a range oven. in here and, yeah. and, a, and an oven. We even have a place here that we could could add that possibly if we wanted to. Then we'd have two stoves. <laughs> <laughs> we'd we'd need to replace our countertop at that point. Oh. But what's good? first hot chocolate in the bus. <gasps> Yay. Yay! It smells delicious. But not the last. Definitely not the last. A lot of people have asked us how we decided on the appliances we decided on. 
there were a few factors. Obviously cost is always uh, a concern, especially when you're getting towards the end and everything has costed a little bit more than you thought it was going to. So that was one. Um, and then just you have to make some space decisions and you have to sacrifice some things that you think you might want for practical storage and functionality and all of that kind of stuff. So I love this little area of the bus. I'm, I'm stoked by the way this, this came out, this little inset that we did for our spice rack. And uh, pretty soon we'll have some plants and stuff up there, up on this shelf. That's what kind of what that was intended for. We just went with a regular apartment sized fridge. I think it's 20, what is it, 24 by 30? Yeah. Um, and only about five feet tall, yeah. So anyway, just a regular apartment it's fridge. 9.9 .9 cubic feet. Let's show them what yummy food we have here. Oh, such yummy food. Oh, so much yummy food. Lots of eggs. We can actually fit quite a bit of stuff in here. And we do eat a lot of eggs, so we have a dedicated egg shelf. <laughs> um, and the freezer. <laughs> Not a lot of food in here yet. We gotta go shopping. We had to install these little child safety latches so that uh, while we're driving, it doesn't come flying open. And those have seemed to work pretty well. We did have to glue this one on. Um, it came off a couple times. So anyway, so that's our fridge. We run it, obviously it's all electric. It can't go propane. And uh, we run off of our solar. We haven't had any issues running our fridge up to this point. Over here, this is just on the side of the fridge. We have another storage feature. Um, we got these drawers, these basket drawers at Ikea, and then we just cut copper piping as drawer stops so they can't open while we drive. Under those drawers, we just have some open storage space, and then inside of here is our water pump. So we can basically take these off, open that up, and service the water pump if we need to, and that's pretty much all that's under there. And our freshwater tanks are directly underneath us, right there, uh, on the underbody of the of the bus. So right across from the drawers, I'll back up a little bit so you have perspective. There's our kitchen. This is our jacket closet, and uh, just random daily organizer stuff. So sunscreen, sunglasses, running belts, all of that kind of stuff. And then we have lots of hooks for our coats and jackets and hats we are all of us wear lots of hats and so this is where we hang them all right so next we have our bunk area so all three kids have their bunks in here and uh, sorry about the lighting the sun's starting to peek through so um, this is Addison's bunk and uh, above that we have Addison's clothes storage. So all of these baskets are her clothes. And then one towel. One's Kenya's. Oh, one's Kenya's? Okay, so, sorry. These are all kids' clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we just built this shelf over her, over her bunk so that we can make sure that their clothes and, and some other storage was close to them. Over here is Kenya's bunk, and uh, we just built this railing out of more copper accents here. Another cool thing about the bunk areas is that we built in these uh, little cubbies where the kids can keep their things and have those accessible. And we also, I haven't wired them up yet, but these are wires for reading lights. Uh, so each of them will have a little 12 volt reading light inside their bunk and then also outlets for charging and, and that kind of stuff. And then finally this is Milo's bunk down on the bottom. So Kenya's and Milo's bunk are stacked and there's his cubby for his books and stuffed animals and toys and such. And there's Chewy. Underneath Milo's bunk down here is where we have more kids clothes storage. You can pull that out Kenya. Show them. So they can, we found these containers at Ikea. They fit perfectly underneath this bunk. And uh, Kenya's clothes are there and Milo's clothes are there. So then in the morning they can just jump out of bed, slide those things out, 
grab their clothes, and then slide them back in. Did it take a lot of muscle? No. <laughs> Sometimes I have to take my lid off. Oh, yeah. We also have some more storage underneath there. Those don't go all the way back, so I'm not going to show you, but we have just some long term storage clear behind those. Good job. Wow. Underneath Addison's bunk is all of our solar. So our, our solar battery bank and complete solar setup. So inverter, breaker box, charge controllers, all of that kind of stuff. So this is our central electrical area. Everything, all electrical in the bus comes into this area and uh, runs off the batteries or the inverter or the shore power that goes out of the bus right there. And that's where we plug in our bus when we're able to uh, plug into shore power. So pretty cool. Um, we're super proud of this area and it's been working amazing. We've been running our refrigerator off of our solar and uh, we haven't had any issues at all. I also have additional storage in here just for tools and cables and all of that kind of stuff. So behind the bunk area we have the bathroom, restroom. So we have our shower. Here we just did a corrugated metal ceiling because um, it's easy to work with, it's flexible, and we needed uh, a semi-waterproof. <laughs> it doesn't really need to be waterproof. We're not taking full standing showers in this in this tub. We're, we're just sitting and showering that way. So. We did a, a shower head that is movable. So we can, this actual, this mount for the shower head is just a suction cup. So we can have it down there to fill it like a bathtub or we can move it up anywhere we want on this wall and just stick it wherever it needs to go. And uh, just a few bath accessories. And then incorporating the copper with our shower curtain. So across from the shower we have the toilet area. Underneath the floor there, uh, the wheel wells underneath this the main part of this toilet area and the half the bunk. Um, but underneath there we just have toiletry storage. So toilet paper, extra cleaning supplies, um, everything, all of that kind of stuff. So, good job, Kenya. Thanks for showing us. And then we also have a medicine cabinet that's storage. Do you want to open that up? Oh, oh. hello. Oh, mister. <laughs> so just standard little medicine cabinet, but it's nice to have place for deodorant, contacts, hair, hair stuff. So after the bathroom area, toilet and shower we have kind of our master suite we put our bed pretty high because we wanted a lot of storage underneath and i'll show you some more storage later on from the back of the bus but from the front of our bed this is basically our dresser so my clothes katie's clothes and then we have toiletries like toothbrushes and hair brushes and lotion and all of that kind of stuff here in this cool really deep drawer bank um, just a plastic drawer bank but it's it works really good it functions really well it's not exactly how we would want it to look but it works really well so and this is our bed here just a nice standard almost queen size bed this is a mattress that we got off of Amazon and uh, it's called a hide-a-bed mattress. So it's, it's meant to be like a mattress for hide-a-bed inside a couch, but it's a great size for us. It's not too big, but it's not tiny and it's super comfortable memory foam mattress. Um, then on the, the foot side of our bed, 
is access to what we call our garage slash slash office slash closet <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go around and show you that but before I do that you can see here our inline tankless water heater is just at the foot of our bed so now I'm going to take you around and show you the back of the bus our office slash garage slash closet slash storage uh, lots of stuff back there So as for the outside of the bus, not a ton to talk about. We obviously have all of our solar up on the roof and uh, our water refill. We have two fresh water tanks. This is where we fill those up. We should open them there. This is our shore power and uh, we can just plug in there. Pretty easy peasy. This is all on the drive or on the passenger side where the door is. And then as you go further along the back of the bus, there's our outdoor shower. Pretty simple, you just take the hand, the hand holder thingy out <laughs> and uh, have a nice little outdoor shower in the woods. So this is under, this is the back side of our bed and uh, you can see all this storage here and Katie's feet. <laughs> There's the back side of our outdoor store, outdoor shower. We also use this for closet space. So we have our hanging clothes here um, and it also is used for my office <laughs> and Katie's office. It's not quite as put together yet as we'd like it to be, but soon this will have a built-in desk and, uh, and a chair that can kind of fold into the desk. And uh, this is where I do my work. So again, there's kind of our closet area. And then, then just this just wraps around. There's our water heater. This is how you roll through. <laughs> nice dem demonstrate. Wow, that was really good. I know, I'm practicing. <laughs> So as you can tell, it's really easy to get from the uh, main cabin Let me show to you again. our office slash closet. It's really easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's our bus home. I hope we covered everything. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. We'd love to answer. I'm planning probably to do a second tour video. I'm sure there's some things that we missed and there's also some additions that we're making like some doors and uh, our fold up table, all of that kind of stuff. So curtains. there, what? Curtains. And more curtains. Yes, there are curtains coming. So if any of you are wondering about privacy, both curtains and doors separating areas, those are coming shortly. We're just trying to get on the road as fast as we can. So leave your comments or leave your questions in the comments. Let's have a discussion down there. We'll answer any questions that you have. And if this is your first time watching, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. We love our home. We love sharing it with you. And uh, we'll continue to do so in our videos. And we'll see you soon. Love always. Adventure often. Adventure often. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.